one of us in the squares was fired from a department store because they couldn't work a cash register. Which star is it? This week, Bo Derrick, Tim Conway, the Scorpion King, Kelly Who, from Providence, Jeff Peterson, Terry Gar, Vivica A. Fox, Everybody loves Raymond, Brad Garrett, Gilbert Godfrey, and starring Whoopi Goldberg, with your host, Tom Bergeron, all on Hollywood Square. And here's Tom Bergeron. Thank you, Shadow. Welcome to the show. It's been a fine week with these fine stars, even though one of them couldn't even run a cash register and was fired from a department store. The lovely Terry Gar oh. had that fatal what a fall. Okay. What? Uh, I had that problem in a supermarket job in high school too. What, what was the department store? Oh, it was called uh, Bullocks. You know, I, I didn't think it was important. I thought moving the product was the important thing. Yeah, absolutely. Thing. Yeah. See, I was ahead of my time. I didn't sure. Know. Yeah. yeah. Heck, and collecting that cash. Oh, hell That's something Dwayne Foster's been doing pretty well. Day five for him. He's got one hundred and ten thousand forty dollars. This is the fifth and final day you can defend your championship. If you win today, you go on to our Tournament of Champions. But if Heather Clancy has her way, that ain't going to happen. Heather's over here in the circle Hi. position. Hi, Heather. Welcome. Okay. First game's a $1,000 game. We'll chat with you both more a little bit later on. It's tic-tac-toe, but with the bluff added. All of our stars are encouraged to smile politely, blink at you, and lie occasionally. Uh, Heather, you get to the start off. You're the challenger. Let's start with Whoopi Goldberg. All right, Whoopi. Where do we get virgin wool from? Really ugly sheep. <laughs> I believe virgin wool comes from a regular old sheep. I agree. Yeah, it just, it just means it's not reprocessed. That's right. Circle gets the square. It's free sheep. Vivica A. Fox. Vivica A. Fox has a new film, Juana Man, out in May, as well as Boat Trip. The Washington Times reports these people in D.C. are complaining about getting tickets from traffic cameras, saying they hamper them from doing their jobs. Who are they? Diplomats. I disagree. Well, good call, because it's police officers. X gets the square for you. All right, Heather. Seth Peterson. Seth Peterson from Providence tonight on NBC. Seth, in a Time for Kids survey, 85% of kids said they pay more attention in school if they do what? Well, they'll pay more attention if they're well-rested. I disagree. If they eat their breakfast, actually. Most important meal of the day. Circle gets it. All right, Dwayne. Brad Garrett for the block. From Everybody Loves Raymond, Mondays on CBS. Uh, Brad, you're playing poker and you're holding a Washington monument. What do you have in your hand? <laughs> okay, well, first of all, if I'm holding a Washington monument, it must be strip poker, my brother. <laughs> First of all, let me, let, let me tell you, I'm a, I'm a poker player. I play all, I love it. I'm not a good one because I, I giggle, which when you giggle, it's, it's hard for them to believe that poker face when you giggle. Uh, Washington Monument is three fives because the Washington Monument is 555 feet tall. I'm telling you it's three fives. I disagree. It's three fives because the monument is 555 oh. feet high. That's exactly right. Heather can't give you that. Brad Garrett for the win, All please. right, for the win and the $1,000. Brad, your baby has a certain object which he loves to cling to. According to experts, should you break him of this habit? No, you just tell him it's daddy's turn. <laughs> That's what you're um, <clears throat> <laughs> you gotta love the front naughty. It's all about the front naughty. That's what I learned. I have uh, two, two small children that I uh, bought from Sally Struthers on that program. <laughs> and, um, you know, they love the bonky, they love the wooby. You let them have it, you don't, take them, uh, you don't take it away, they will let it go at their own time, and that's how you do it. I agree. Yeah, don't break them of the habit. It's harmless until about 18 months. Circle gets the square of the win for $1,000. Our next $1,000 game has a secret square, and here's what's in the secret square stash today. 
It's a Panasonic DVD player. This lovely portable DVD player with headset is perfect for travel or home with a 5-inch screen and Dolby digital output from the good guys. Plus, we'll add $500 to purchase DVDs, making this exciting package worth $1,800. I'll let you all of you at home who the secret square is. Now you know. Heather, you get to start. Bo Derek. Bo Derek. All right, Bo. Her book is called Riding Lessons in stores now. Heartthrop Brad Pitt says only one woman ever did this to him, and the experience scarred him for life. What did she do? She convinced him to wear her underwear. I disagree. She just dumped him. She <laughs> dumped him <laughs> for some good-looking guy. Circle gets the square. All right, Dwayne. Gilbert Gottfried. Gilbert Gottfried. He was the first poet to speak at a United States presidential inauguration when he did it for John F. Kennedy in 1961. Who is it? Nipsey Russell. <laughs> who said, I spent the day with JFK to watch him get sworn in. Last night I caught the sight of him with a girl named Marilyn. <laughs> this because I, I lived in Japan for a year. <laughs> <laughs> and I own gym socks, so I know that. George Bernard Shaw. Woo, I disagree. Robert Frost, actually, X, gets the square. We got a well-deserved break. Which game show host released his own rock albums in the 1960s? I promise I wouldn't do that to you. It's not me. I'll tell you right after this. You're watching Hollywood Squares on TV 55.